This no. email came around to people on your uh, email list. This email came around a uh, couple of weeks ago. Hi friends, this has been a short but intense week. Over the MLK weekend, Martin Luther King weekend, I made a decision to begin speaking more specifically in public about a collection of financial transparency concerns. I reached a conclusion that I needed to step down from my minor leadership post to speak more freely. The message to members of the leadership team is to avoid public dissent. Check willbrownsberger.com, I'll repeat it, willbrownsberger.com for more on these issues and some thoughts on how they relate to Tuesday's election. You wrote this just after the election of Scott Brown to yeah. the Senate. Yeah. I always appreciate your comments and we are trying to make it easier to log in and comment. If you would also like to call this show, the number will appear on your screen and we will take your call live. So what happened? What, you know, this is a big statement you made. I want to ask one question and then you can answer that and then maybe elaborate more. You did have a question on your website where someone said, why do you need to step down from your leadership post, uh, f from your uh, committee post? Well, that's a good question, and that's not a, that was a tough call for me. And, uh, you know, I, but I felt, um, you know, it's, there's, it's, it's a different, there's a certain corporate aspect to being part of the leadership team, uh -huh. you know, where people sit in a room and say, okay, we may have our differences here, but when we walk out of here, we're going with what the what the majority message is. Okay. And um, and I felt that if I didn't want to play by those rules, it made sense for me to step down. Mm -hmm. Now maybe that's being a little too overly principled about it all, mm -hmm. and I think some people could see it that way, and they may be right. I'm not sure, but I think in terms of the basic issue, the basic set of concerns, I feel very comfortable that I'm on the right track with those. And. Uh, the transparency yeah, concerns. Yeah, yeah. There's a, there's a set of concerns that I think are really important. I mean, if, we, if we're, we're spending the taxpayers' money, uh, the taxpayers have every right to know what we're getting for it. And they do have that right in, with respect to every agency in the Commonwealth, um, and except the legislature. What did you see up on Beacon Hill that troubled you? Well, I, the, the thing that particularly bothered me, I mean, and there's, I don't want to paint with too broad a brush, uh, or appear to make allegations, or push, you know, suggest that you know there's a lot of bad people up there. That's not what I'm saying. Uh, but I, but I did feel that with respect to a um, to the way the House manages its money, mm -hmm. the House needed to be open about that. And there was a pattern of not being open about that. And I do feel that there's some. This it's pretty clear that there's probably some money that's not that well spent, and maybe some money that's spent you know, in a somewhat political way. Mm -hmm. uh, and I think we need to open that up. And, and when you see that happening and when you see people not disclosing it, it makes you worry. It, makes, it certainly makes me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. um, and